So in this video, I'm going to try to restore this old side table from the 40s. The top is in really bad shape. And uh, I also noticed that there were some loose joints that I have to fix. So we will see how this turns out, but I will make my best to make this table a little less angry. This table actually reminds me a bit of my last video. That table also had some marquetry and uh, I think it's from the same time period. And I would guess it's from the 40s um, due to the design and the uh, material. And as you can see the legs came off without any effort. So after removing the legs, it's time to go over the top and remove the old finish. So here I am removing the finish with a scraper and maybe I should have used a stripper instead. There's always a risk of damaging their marquetry when using a scraper. But it actually worked well and uh, I didn't ruin the veneer so I guess that's good news. And after removing most of the old finish, it's time to bring out the orbital sander. It's a really fine, delicate veneer and with the marquetry inlay and so on. I used a really fine grit on the sandpaper, I think it was 280 or 300. I had some real struggle with these legs. 
they had some dark stain on them and some lacquer finish that was so hard to remove. I don't think it shows in the video, but I spent a lot of hours on them. After sanding the top, I saw some miscolorations and I'm not sure if it's just the wood grain or if it's actually the stains. But either way, I'm applying some oxalic acid, so we'll see if this helps. And after the oxalic acid had dried, I could still see the stains, so I think it's part of the, the wood grain. I gave the legs uh, dark brown stain and that matches the side of the table For the top I'm going for a teak stain and I'm going to apply two layers of the stain because I want the top in a darker tone. Uh, there were too big of a contrast between the top and the darker base of the table. So I think this will make the table look better. And after applying the, the second layer, I think this looks perfect and awesome. The shimmering of the wood grain reminds me of gold, and this turned out way better than I thought.
the trim of the table looked a bit uneven so I added some extra stain to it. And if you liked the challenge that we did here on YouTube a month ago, I have some good news. We are going to do another one and that goes live the 28th of April. And the theme of this one is that we are going to find a really broken, trashed, old, miserable furniture and restore it. So stay tuned for that one. Here I'm reattaching the legs with some wood glue and after this part I clamped them all up. So during this project I had a feeling that the original table had a glass top and I didn't want to order a new one because it's kind of expensive. So I searched the marketplace after some old table and I actually found this cheap IKEA one that had a glass top and it had the right diameter mm -hmm. for my new table. So that really made my day. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. And I want to say thank you to you all for supporting this channel. I just reached 10,000 subscribers and uh, see you soon.